Hey, welcome back to Somer Now. I'm Jim LaPierre, and I am currently having the Monday from Hell. <laughs> I've learned to laugh about such things. Uh, I've learned to practice what I preach, and currently I am doing a few things. I'm taking pause. I am not going to continue hitting my head against the wall because I spent a few minutes doing that today. The good news is that things that I used to do for weeks or months at a time, I now usually catch them after five minutes. So, I mean, we've all had these days. We've all had the Monday from hell. Uh, I had a plan coming into this morning. I had all kinds of things that I thought were really important to do, and, and they are. But the good news is my tech guy uh, came in over the weekend and upgraded all of our machines. And the bad news is that mine won't boot up this morning. And some days, uh, I, I just think of the military expression FUBAR. Uh, if you're not familiar with FUBAR, it stands for fucked up beyond all recognition. And that's the state that my laptop's in this morning. So I get to practice radical acceptance. Uh, whenever I'm stuck, I go to page 417 in the big book of Alcoholics Anonymous. Easily one of the best things I've ever read in any text, in any book. And it reminds me that, quote, acceptance is the answer to all of my problems today. And I know that that's true. I know that acceptance of powerlessness is something that I may not like, but I also know that it's incredibly liberating. When I don't accept powerlessness, I put a lot of time and energy into things that I can't do a thing about. I literally would be better off hitting my head against the wall because the end result is the same. Nothing changed, but I have a headache. So today, like I said, I'm taking pause. I'm not going to continue to fight with something. I've tried to reboot my machine a number of times. It's not having it. Uh, in the past, I probably would have tried another 10 or 12 times, but today I don't have to do that. Today, I can say the serenity prayer. I can seek support from people who care about me. I can vent a little bit if I need to. And then I can consider, okay, if these are the things that I'm powerless over this morning, what can I do instead? And one of the things that I love doing is connecting with all of you. So instead of agonizing further, I'm sharing a little bit about what I've learned. Because I'm always amazed at how the simplest of lessons are so very hard to come to terms with. My experience is that none of the things that I've had to resolve in my life were really complicated. They were painful. They were scary, they were hard, but they weren't complicated. Sometimes I can complicate them because I hate how they feel and I can overthink with the best of them, but I try really hard not to do that today. So instead of spending time thinking about it, I put it on paper, I put it on my computer screen, I share it with a friend, and at that point it becomes much more open to change and everything works a little bit better. So. I hope that you're having a good day today, but if it's going the way that mine is, I hope that you'll just pause, just breathe. Just know that as hard as this day might be, that going through it with your shoulders up here doesn't make it better, that walking around spewing hate and discontent or even just a, a whole lot of watered down anger like sarcasm probably isn't going to make it better. I hope that you'll treat today like it's an adventure. Uh, because I, what I know for myself is that acceptance of powerlessness is liberating. I can treat today like it's an adventure. I can laugh and say, okay, my plan for today is out the window. And I can check in with my higher power and say, okay, what's the new plan? So I hope that you're taking care of yourself. It's more important than ever. I hope that you'll connect with me. I would love to hear your questions, your experience, strength, and hope. Jim at SoberNow.com is how you reach me. Please uh, give this video a like and share with friends and family so we can expand the conversation. And please, if you haven't already, head over to YouTube and check out SoberNow's uh, YouTube station. Uh, over 100 videos there now on various topics of pertaining to recovery. And check us out on Thursdays at noon Eastern Time uh, for the live stream. Uh, looking forward to connecting with more of you. And again, please take excellent care of yourself. Have a great day.